Hello there. Um, this is my recap of my recent battle against the Tyranids. Uh, it was a 2,000 point game. It was a fun game. He was kind of testing out things that he was that was a little bit more unusual for him. Uh, He's using his flying list. Wanted to give it a shot with the new flying monsters creature rules, so that's what he was doing. Um, didn't quite work out for him in the end. It ended up being a lot closer than he anticipated and I anticipated. Uh, the the harpies were really his main downfall. He felt they really didn't do anything for all the points that he spent on them. I mean, it just having toughness five, strength five, four plus armor for a monsters creature makes him just too fragile. So they ended up failing him in the end, but. Uh, I'll give you my MVPs of the game and MUP. MVP's a little tough today. Uh, it ended up that I think pretty much everyone held their own really. There was no one that truly excelled above any other and no one that really just failed miserably for me. If I had to give anything MVP though I'd have to say the mysterious objectives honestly um, for both sides. The mysterious objectives really helped him the one uh, mysterious objective for me where he had to have his charging distance saved my uh, combat squad from being annihilated by gene stealers. So that ended up being a game changer. Uh, him getting the 2 plus cover save because of stealth and shrouded and the ruins with his termagants ended up almost securing him one of the objectives. And uh... What was the other one? Oh yeah, the sabotage on my end. If that would have gone off and blown up, it would have really been game changing. Uh, would have re probably lost me the game, honestly. I don't think I would have gotten his other one. I may have been able to clear his termagants off, but uh, I'd say some of the better performers on my list were actually my salt terminators this time. Made a big turnaround. They killed the hive tyrant, one of the flying hive tyrant on their own, and went and wiped out the turvagon as well. So, I mean easily made up their points just from the Hive Tyrant alone. Uh, I'd say that the Storm Talon also performed pretty well. It grounded some of the Harpies and really tore them up with the AP4 weaponry and them only having a 4 plus armor. They did quite well. Or it did quite well. Uh, MUP? It's tough to say. I don't know if there's anything that didn't do anything. The Predator managed to wipe out a Harpy and did put wounds on random monster creatures. Plasma Squad really tore up the Trigon. Uh, other squad combat squatted and took both my objectives. Um, I don't believe I used my Stern Guard in that battle. I don't remember. I don't think so though. Uh, the Land Raider I guess if you want to say the Land Raider for 250 points didn't do a whole lot. Uh, Commander, yeah, actually I did have Stern Guard. Commander and his Stern Guard um, didn't do a whole lot. They were kind of just a distraction for the Gaunts that were feeding. So if I had to give it to anyone, I suppose I'd give it to them. I mean, they weren't necessarily set up to fight the Tyranids all too well. Their Combi Meltas don't necessarily help a ton. So I guess that's who I'd say. Otherwise, honestly, I think it all went pretty well. The thing I was worried about was his speed, which I ended up actually probably being more mobile with my rhinos and whatnot. He lacked synapse, so he really couldn't move fast all over the place. So uh, I'm finding that in 6th edition, rhinos are honestly, I think they're a little better. They can get you where you need to be faster. Yeah, maybe they die faster, but it seems people just ignore rhinos quite a bit more. They just feel that they'll die easily enough. So, uh, yeah, being aggressive with the Marines, it, it's really quite effective. Put your enemy on the to their toes. Um, it's a strategy that I will strongly uh, reinforce. Uh, hopefully that helps you out some. Uh, I always like watching battle reports personally for tactical advice, and that's probably my biggest tactical advice is is a rush. Get to where you control the battlefield. If you put them on your toes, their toes, they, they can't use whatever strategy they were trying to use, unless their strategy was to truly just sit back, but 
And if that's the case, then they're not going to be claiming any objectives, which a majority of the games are. So, uh, hope you enjoyed the battle report. There'll be more to come.